live stream. Today, me and Jeremy traveled uh, to Mishawaka, Indiana, where we currently are. And this is the St. Joseph's River, I believe. And we are searching for a missing person, Jonathan Hanby, who went missing, what, five years ago? Yes. Got Jeremy in the water over here. You want me to film you too? Are you live? I'm live now. Live live. I'm live live. Don't let him see what I'm doing. I'm not good at this. I'm not good at being put on the spot. So I just, we, uh, we haven't confirmed anything yet. We found a vehicle, a car. We're searching for a car and we found one right here. Super shallow. The water's pretty clear. So I don't know what this could yield as far as results. It's either going to be the car we're looking for or just a stolen car. Either way, we'll know soon enough here in just a minute. I just wanted to do a quick live for you guys, a quick update. Yeah. Is the audio okay? Everything's good? Thanks for that. So we got Exploring with Nug in the water. Hi. And we're near Notre Dame searching for Jonathan Hanby. He's been missing since 2015. And he was last seen... Um, driving a, what, what year BMW? I'm not sure the year. I always forget something. I think it was a 2005, I th think. I think it's a 2000s BMW Black 5 Series. Nice car, four-door. Yeah, it was a nice car. And we have a car sitting here on its wheels. Yeah, so we have, do you have the picture on your sonar? I don't know. It's been scrolling for so long. I don't think it's saved anymore. Oh, it's still going? Okay. Yeah. I'm Near up. South Bend? Yeah, we're not far from Notre Dame. Notre Dame Rowing building is right there. So we're like, we're in the, we're in the area. Somebody said they're local and that we had a major flooding four to five years ago, 16 foot above flood state. That's pretty high. Or inches, feet, yeah. Holy crap, that's a serious flood. So this, this vehicle could have, I mean, this could be, there's a rowing club, there's a boat dock down there. Could have drifted. We know that. 2017 who knows i just wanted to give you guys i wanted to do a quick live because i'm gonna try to do more updates since we're all on this road trip for you guys anytime we find a vehicle and i think i can go live real quick give you an update so you're finding out live as i'm finding out yeah, we, actually don't even we, we have no idea didn't know nug had curls yeah look, curls. look at that hair me. your hair oh my goodness <laughs> it's just messed up that's all Ryan, thank you for the donation. Appreciate that. Keep up the good work. Yeah, I mean, and I, if we can, I'd love to get this out. We'd have to shut down the road right here and get a rotator. There's tons of trees in the way. There's a... It might be a little difficult. Don't look at me. I swear I'm certified. I'm looking at you. I'm about to film you. Oh, my camera. I should have brought an extra battery for my big camera. So, I mean, the car, the rope we have right here, you guys can probably see. The water's pretty clear. So, I mean, like 10, 20 feet out, 10 feet down. I mean, there's no telling. Um, you know, our hopes, our goal today is to give some answers to John, John Hanby's family. Because he vanished. Basically, he... Uh, from what I understand, he, he, he left his house, or he left a friend's house, and he went to his parents, and he ate with them. And then he left, and apparently he was supposed to be back later. You got it? And then he just vanished. He was never seen again. So, I don't know if this has been searched, but if there hasn't been a big flood, you know, there's no telling how many more cars. I wonder when that flood was. Cause like, when was it? He went missing in 2017. I'm not sure the date. When, when did you say the flood was? I think he said... uh. What did I just say? Let me scroll back here. Five years ago. So that is around the time when he went missing. Five years ago. So if this is the vehicle, and I mean, he it's he's like 10, 10-ish minutes away is where he lived from here. Thank you, Margo, for that amazing donation. Thanks for all you guys do. Thank Yeah, appreciate that so much. 
really do. Oh, I'm trying to get here. You want me to film you? Where's your camera? Uh, We're also trying to film our normal videos too. I really wanted to do an update for you guys. Just because we found a car, we've been searching a while on this river and we haven't found anything yet, but this is the first one. And we were hesitant. All right, I'll film myself with this. Well, I'll have you on my GoPro. Oh, then my bat. Dang. <laughs> we're gonna have to go back. I got. I have no more batteries after this. Hey, use your phone. <laughs> yeah, I'm live streaming, so. Okay. All right, I'm in the water. We got the magnet hooked up to the car. I mean, it's not that far out and it's about 10 feet deep. So this is gonna be really easy. And I guess the water, it looks tannic. Is that what they call it? Uh, it's I don't know if this, like this is like a creek water. It's like clear. It's clearer ish. This is weird, but I'll be I'll definitely be able to see a tag. So, uh, let's find out. Let's Hopefully it's a tag. Let's do this. Worst case, pull apart. See if you can rip something off of it. You should be able to tell if it's a, BM, a BMW. Like yeah. I, mean, I ain't scared. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. All right. Yeah, because we found several BMWs in the past couple months, and, you know, the logos on the tires always last. You know what's funny is we found that black BMW. Yeah, we did. It's far from here, but. It you're is saying far. You, you're saying you make it down there somehow. I mean, yeah, who really knows? Thank you for becoming a, was it a member. Welcome, Margo, to the member level one. Thank you guys. Appreciate all the members, everybody joining. No buffering. Yeah, hopefully the uh, the service is good. We should have better service here than we did yesterday. I think so, because we're in a somewhat more uh, bigger city, but. All right. Picture's a bit fuzzy. Sorry about that. I mean, I had some issues too uh, the other day. Front facing cameras, hazy. Is it? <sighs> try to wipe it off. I don't know. I'm in a case actually. My phone's in a case. Probably doesn't help. I'll try to just use the, this front camera because I know that one's good. Um, ready. You ready? Okay, hold on. All right, man. Good luck. Ah, uh, well done. Very quickly. Very quickly. All right, Nug is in the water. I can still see him right here. I'm gonna switch over to his camera. Oh, I'm sorry for shaking the camera around. Got to switch over to Nug's camera. Record for him. So he's in the water right there. You can see the bubbles. I expect he'll be out in just a minute. It's so shallow and pretty clear. Thanks for everybody tuning in on the live stream. Some, like, I wish I could always go live when we pull out cars, but sometimes they're in really difficult spots and the current's really rough. This is like an easy going, relaxing river, at least now. Apparently, I know, it get, I, I'm sure it gets crazy at some points. There's no telling what we're gonna find on this car. You know, there's a truck and a car missing out here on the West Coast. Oh, I mean, there, there's, there is so many people missing out there. It is, it's really, really sad. So many more people missing just by themselves without vehicles. You know, we, it's so much easier for us to try to find them with vehicles because it's something to spot. But when it's just people missing, there's no telling. But, I mean, it's, it's terrible. Yeah, we, uh, on the last trip, we went in the Missouri River. Worst river I've ever been in. The current was dangerously strong. Logs and trees flying down. It was horrible. But I'm, I'm really, like, excited. I mean, this, this, this vehicle is very promising. It matches the description, the area. And it almost seems like an accident where it is. So, which, I mean, it's, which would be horrible. I mean, I, we're all hoping, as always... The people we're looking for are, are still alive. 
but unfortunately a lot of times when people go missing they end up in the water so if this is the bmw it would be a huge it would be it would, it would be huge giving the family answers letting them know where it is so he'll probably be up in here just a minute like i said it's only 10 feet right here super shallow I think he's already coming back. All right, now he's, he's still out there. He's going around the car. Yeah, we honestly, we had trouble locating this one. We saw it was the right size, but it did not look like a car at first. We went over it a bunch more times and then we, we could tell that it was a, a vehicle and we hooked it with a magnet. We're looking for John, Jonathan Allen uh, Hamby went missing from Mishawaka, Indiana. He's been gone for five years. So he was last seen in a, I believe, 2005 or 6 BMW 6 Series. And we're just out here searching, you know. This is what we do. We travel around, try to find cars. Lately, we've been finding just tons of other vehicles, not the people we've been looking for, unfortunately. But still, anytime we're able to clean up cars out of the water, that's great, too. Yeah, we're in the uh, St. Joseph, St. Joseph River, St. Joe River, Mishawaka. Yeah, that's where we're at. So if you guys are out here, maybe you'll spot us because <laughs> we're going to continue searching. If this is not him, if it is, we're going to have to, you know, call the police. I still would love to get this out. This is not in a convenient location, though. There is air bubbles, nugs right in the water. I mean, I have no idea what this could be. If there was a huge flood, it could it could be. I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a bunch of cars out here. This is just the first one we've seen so far. Uh, we are working on getting comms. The problem is they're extremely expensive, but it would be ex it would be much safer, you know, being able to communicate. Jeremy does have one, but I don't have the rest of the unit. It's it's very very expensive, but that is our that is on our list. We want to get because then we'll be able to hear audio and communicate back and forth. And for the live stream, actually, you'd be able to hear him talking. So that is on our list, and that's one of our goals. Yeah, the current's moving a little bit. I mean, so the rowing club's like right up that way. And then there's another bridge down here. And like the road goes all the way right down there. But if I was, if I was guessing, it either came off the road here or came from that boat ramp right up there. Jeremy's camera set up here. I think it's a good shot. We are we are trying to film everything, go live for you guys, and do it all. And I'm just sitting here on the boat. I dove uh, on the last car, if you guys saw that live stream. So, And that was a uh, stolen Chevy Impala. That day was kind of nuts. It went on for way longer than expected. This one's going to be quick, so I knew I could do a quick live stream for you guys. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Um, there's no telling if this is a vehicle or not. He's been down there for a while, which tells me usually that it... it uh, usually the longer you stay down there, it's not the vehicle. Because he's just going around trying to get rip something off. If there's a plate on there, we pull that and get out pretty quick. But there's no telling. Because it's so shallow. He should have been up by now if, it was there, if there was a plate. Um, that's my guess anyways. We'll see here in a second. Pull this one first. I would love to pull this one. 
it, it's so much easier when there's a boat ramp right behind us, but there's a rock wall and a hill and a road, a two lane mm -hmm. road, so you have to shut down. Uh, the weather's the weather, the weather's great. Feels awesome. Yeah, not too far from El Elkhart. So he's right there. He should be up here soon. Yeah, if we did have underwater communication, which we will eventually get, I wish I had that because you guys could hear what he's saying, but um, we'll know here in just a minute. This is our second case of this trip. We're going to be out here at least today, maybe probably tomorrow too, searching. This river, the, the uh, St. John's River goes pretty far down through the, the city, and there's tons of little side roads and places that a vehicle could easily come off of, so... Yeah, we could float it. I mean, this river's not terrible where it's uh, it's not too currenty. But it almost helps to be a little bit deeper to float a vehicle. Because it's so shallow here, you have to have the bag right on the vehicle. We usually have it a little longer line, so it's possible. In the 40s next week? Wow. How hot is it here? I'm not sure. It feels great right now. Probably like 70s or 80s. I don't know. I'm in Misha Waka. Misha Waka, Indiana. I, know, I, th I think some of y'all said y'all are from around here, so you may be able to look it up and see. I'm not exactly sure. But the weather feels amazing. So once again, we are searching for John Hamby. We went missing in 2015 in a black BMW. And it's, we're on the right side of the river where he went missing, was last seen. He still was like 10-ish minutes away from here. But nothing's out of the realm of possibilities when you're searching for someone. I mean, you just got to check everywhere. And the river, this, this is the, kind of the only spot to look. He's been down there a little while, so... I don't know how the vehicle's positioned. I think he's coming back now. So he's right there. We'll see what this mystery vehicle is. All right, he's coming up. You can see his tank right there in the water. Not the car, but got a screwdriver or something? There's a plate? No plate, but I got the windshield smashed out. Oh really? So I got the VIN number plate I pry off. Oh you did? You can see it? I got it. I, I need just I need a screwdriver or uh, something. Uh yeah, I have one. Let me grab one. Right. How's the visibility? It's actually really good and there's like treasures laying everywhere. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm like, oh man, gotta stay focused, but there's like a cash register. Are you serious? Yeah, there's old cups and like bottles everywhere. I'm like, oh man. But it's a Grand Marquis. Mercury. Grand Marquis. Windows down. Seatbelts aren't done up. Will that work? Yeah. Be right back. All right. So if it, it can run the van and figure out where 
figure out what's up with the car. Yeah, we'll be able to run that here once we find it. Oh, very irritated. Well, got right there. Visibility is ridiculous. Like, that's I did what, not expect that. I told you it looked like that. Yeah, you did. <laughs> All right. So if you guys want to look for a Grand Marquis in the Mishawaka area, do some research for me. For us, that would uh, help out. I mean, we can look up the van plate. I'll keep live streaming maybe a little bit if after he gets out and we'll keep searching probably down the river because we didn't really get too far. We cleared, there's a few different sections that are like dam controlled with dam separating it. And uh, so we have to put in and then pull out and go to the next boat ramp, Grand Marquis. Yes, this river's makes it now I want to dive because it looks so clear. There's a cash register down like this is such a random spot. You could probably drift dive down this whole river and find a bunch of stuff. This, yeah, it's it's a uh, it's not deep. It's not that deep. Grab the cash register. <laughs> I'm sure he will after he gets the VIN plate. So in the meantime, um, you know, that's the reality of what we do, guys. Most of the time, most of the time, it's just stolen vehicles or dumped vehicles, you know, insurance fraud, insurance scams. So the fact that it also he says he can get the VIN plate, I've only ever gotten a one and we've found hundreds of cars. They're usually hard to get to and you have to be able to see really well. So... I don't know. It's, uh, it's promising for sure. So many old bottles, yeah. Can you buy us lunch on Tuesday? I, I mean, that sounds awesome. I have no idea where we're going to be. What is that tomorrow? It really depends on what we find today and uh, what we're doing. But I'll try to do a story or let you guys know. I don't know. I think we'll probably go live on Jeremy's channel later. So if you if you catch us then, maybe. We can figure something out. How old is the cash register? I don't know. That sounds really interesting, though. We've only found a few. We found several in the Chattahoochee River in Atlanta. I've never found one with money in it, though. He's found. We found some like money bags. I think uh, with some. I remember Z uh, Zach Z Cook Z. He found like a twenty dollar bill in one once, which is kind of funny. Like, why would you throw it in? with money in it. I don't know. All right, so Jeremy is in the water, getting that VIN plate. All right, he's coming back up now. Looks like. behind the boat. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. I got to record it before I tore it off. I think we'll still be able to... Super brittle. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Can't focus on your camera, man. Is it on autofocus or something? Uh, sorry about that. Anyways. <laughs> we'll get it leveled and figured out the VIN number on it. Yeah, we'll get a close-up shot of that. So that's exciting. Uh, so where's the cash register? Everybody's asking about the cash register. Uh, it wasn't a cash register. It was one of those old-school, like, um, receipt makers. You know, like oh, it's, okay. It's big, like, <laughs> yeah, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a weird spot for it, though. There, it's littered with stuff. This would be a fun river treasure place. <laughs> There's stuff everywhere. Old stuff, new stuff, like, oh my goodness. I guess Notre Dame, pretty historical. There's a lot of old stuff. I've been trying a lot of old stuff right here. Yeah, I don't know the history, but... Oh, something's floating right there. I don't know what it is. Trash. <laughs> Looks like a candy wrapper. Oh, I'm so mad. Man. Well, I bet, I, did, I bet if we keep going, we're going to find more. Especially if there was a huge flood. 
right around the time he went missing too. Yeah, keep going. Because I don't know if they did water searches. I know sonar has come a long way since then. But we you definitely. Got time. I know that much. Yeah, we do. So keep your dry suit on. Oh, yeah. I'll take and then on. you're going to pull that uh, up on here. Pull your wet your uh, wet suit. Pull your BC. Move that thing so we don't destroy it. What your camera? The VIN plate. Oh yeah. So I was down there looking at the car and I'm like, okay, I did everything I'm supposed to. Couldn't find a tag. And I was like, I'm not leaving here without knowing. And so like, I just I took your magnet and I just started smashing oh, the windshield the window. Out, and it worked. And then I took pieces of the windshield and I cut the plastic out that's in the middle. <laughs> and then I got I got it and I was like, oh, there's the plate. And I'm like, you know what? This this works. Well, I was telling them I've only ever found one VIN plate. That was in Kentucky. I couldn't even see the plate until I smashed the window out. And I was like, oh, there it is. <sighs> but I reached inside. No, the seat belts weren't done up. I, I couldn't see anything. I was like, man. So I'm curious what the VIN brings back on the car, but it's, an, it's, it's yeah. not old. It's blue. A oh, blue? Uh, it's been there a few years, but it's... It's, it's like, in a weird spot. It's not rotting. And I'm, just because I couldn't feel anything in there doesn't mean, you know... I mean, yeah. Only right. we'll the driver's side window's down. The, uh, I think one of the windows on the rear, like the little window's broken. Yeah. So, I don't know. All right. Give me that. Just lay it on side. <laughs> Not, man, I was, I hate when that happens. Hate it. I was so sure, I'm like, oh man, this is it. It was an accident. Yeah, I was like, just so excited. Every time. I just want to find someone so bad. Just most most of the time, not every time, but. I mean, we always find cars. Yeah. This car, unfortunately, I mean, it, it'll take us, it'll take some effort to get it out. At least shutting down the road and stuff. Oh yeah. I mean, it is shallow. It might be a kind of a hazard for boaters for the rowing club, but I don't, you know. We can report it. I think we should keep searching. Get the most out of the day. Report it at the end of the day. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. I'm like out of battery. <laughs> well, I have plenty of eight battery, but no nines. Oh. You end this for life? No, I'm still alive. Oh, okay. I'm still alive. I'm gonna get settled. Might do a little bit of live searching. I gotta move this tank because it's gonna fly everywhere. That was pretty funny though. Like on my way back, I was actually looking on the ground looking for something because I seen a crowbar on the way down. So I went back to look for it and I couldn't find it. Then I was like, well, there's a weird looking thing. Oh my God, there's bottles everywhere. I was like, Ooh. dude, you know, you <laughs> we're missing. Oh, it's a Ford. It's a it's Ford. 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 We're missing a lot of the VIN numbers. Not. Yeah, we are, dude. We wasn't. Like I had the whole thing, dude. That thing must have that that part must have just. Fell Did on. you film it? Yeah. I just picked it up. I mean, that didn't... crap. But yeah, I got. I got. It might be sitting on here. Just... I got. I filmed it really good before it got out. Okay. So we got it on camera. Yeah. There might be a piece of it right somewhere. Shoot. Yeah, it might have filled. Yeah, this thing's a brittle. Yeah, they've been down, been down there a while. But okay. Well, the first two. I mean, we're looking at two M E C M seven four. Then we're missing three letters, and I got it on tape. Okay. Six three four seven eight one. So we'll definitely be able to run the VIN. Maybe on Epic VIN, you don't know. Maybe yeah. We'll see what happens. Ah, uh, put a wrench. All right. <laughs> Can't believe you broke it. Yeah, yeah. I brought it back like perfect. You're like, F this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. I don't think it is. I think it's down here. Crap. The missing link. The missing. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. You gonna keep live in while we're uh, my, we we search a little bit farther down. I mean, we, we didn't get too far, right? Not really. How close are we to the uh, next dam? Ah, couldn't even tell you. Oh well. Oh well. <sighs> well. I was really hoping, man. I was really hoping. There's just one car in the middle of not a just another weird spot. Nope. Like, ah. This Hate is that. this is a really weird spot. Is Candace on there by chance? Probably. I don't know. Yeah, she is. She, she knows by now. She's been waiting for an update. When did you switch back to the open face mask, Jeremy? 
I still have, I actually brought the OTS. I got a full face mask right here. Um, I was going to record because I got the setup. I could record my voice. Battery's dead. So I was like, eh. I go back and forth. It's simpler for the open face mask. But full face mask is fun too. The only reason I bought it was yeah. so we could talk to each other. All right. But well, we, we will. We still haven't got the communication. And they were, the stupid they were asking about that. I'm like, yeah, that is our goal. It's just, yeah, I'd love to have it. I just, that is something that is. You wouldn't believe it. Either, but we're talking thousands of dollars yeah. for just a little piece of thing. Cause like, they cornered the market. There's nobody really to compete with. So they can charge what they want. And people are going to pay it. <laughs> now I'm all amped up because I was so excited. Now I'm just like devastated. How was the water temperature? Mid 70s. Feel okay. good? Yeah. I don't even have thermal though. My clothes. All right. Search continue. All right. Can you hold this for a second while I take the uh, rope off? I'll just floor it. Hi. Woo! Look at that view. Let's quit breaking stuff. Not against the law, at least. Ross C. Underwater Drone would help. Believe it or not, I'm already working with a company and they are sending me one. And I'm going to try it out and fingers crossed it's going to be pretty darn neat. Actually, we probably could have used it in this water. The current is pretty swift. But it was it was easy to control. So. Paul, how much are they on eBay, dude? I looked on eBay and it's a uh, there's a missing person from Pennsylvania in a '99 Mercury Grand Marquis. Did they say what color it is? The one we're the one we found here is blue. No tag, but we do have the VIN, so we'll be able to match it to the owner at least. Thought you were getting an Aqua Eye. I was going to. Um, obviously, I couldn't get sponsored by them, and they're wanting like five grand just for the unit. I don't have. I don't have it. I don't have it, man. I gotta prioritize my money because I'm not like I'm not swimming in it. You swimming in it? I'm not swimming. Nope. In it. So <laughs> I gotta get. I gotta get what I need the most right now. Aqua Eye would be great because bodies, unfortunately, this is the season. It is the season. Every season, people are, are dying in these rivers, and it's sad. It's, it's heartbreaking. And But they can't be found, and this tool is supposed to be able to find them. Um, I just don't know yet. Jared has one. I don't know if he's even tried it yet, but. I think he used it for one case, at least I saw. So we're gonna live stream for a little bit. There's a missing couple with a marquee blue. That's blue. Number P PDG. Well, we don't we don't know the plate. We just know we don't the, know the plate, but we have we know the, the VIN. VIN. So we is might... it from this area, from Indiana? He said Pennsylvania, which is, you know, not far. <laughs> Holy smokes! So we're gonna. I guess you guys get to see our setup here. We got Jeremy's Garmin over here, running. Yep. And he's on the right side. I got my transducer, my hummingbird on the left, and. It's actually not bad. I mean, we're, we get to chill. It's a pretty good setup. We got it on each side. I mean, it looks like madness, but it's working. Somebody looks like somebody can mess it up. There we go. Somebody said you look good with a buzz cut. I would look good with a buzz cut? Yeah. You got a big head, dude. I look like, I look like, um, what's, what's dude name? Sloth from Goonies? <laughs> That's what I look like when I shave my head. I got a big, goofy head. So I have the side scan, side imaging here, down imaging up here. So you can see little things, like that's probably a log or something right there. Cat toy ladies in the chat. Okay, so let her know this was not our guy. Not, not our car. No, but there is word that there is a car matching this description of a missing couple out of Pennsylvania. So we're gonna look into that. We got the VIN number. Uh, we're gonna have to watch the video later to get a couple missing numbers, but I did film it really good. So we'll definitely be able to run it later. Let the cops know what we found. Might have accidentally solved another one. Yeah, or they may already know about it. You never know. Yeah, yeah that's another thing. Cops be like, yeah, we've known about this forever. Happens a lot. It's very it, it, demotivating. It, it, yeah, but They're like, man. But a lot of times they don't know about it. So there's the dam. We're already down here. So. But there was no plate for sure. You said no. I look. You it. can see his plane today. Front, no front, no rear. How was the condition of the metal? 
Was it corroded a lot? How old do you think it was? A few years. Actually, I know the year of the car from the from that little plate. Oh yeah. Do you? Okay. Yes, I cleaned my screen, guys. Sorry if you've been seeing my most recent videos from our last trip. <laughs> it got really bad and dirty, so I apologize for that. But I cleaned it. Don't act like you. What is that right there? I was turning, so whatever was stretched it out. Oh, I don't think it's it looks like a log, probably. So we're going underneath this bridge. You ever see that movie How High with Method Man and Red Man? Maybe. Well, I always remember like when they, when he joined Crew, and he was like, "It's like this is Crew, but I don't think you can handle it, Jamal." And he's like, well, "Where's your crew? I'll mess them up." <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think. But every time I hear Crew. You see what I have to deal with all day? Be quiet. Be quiet. <laughs> see, Man, one, you better two, turn. Four, five, six, seven. Sure enough, the eighth letter is missing. So I won't. I can't tell you the year of the car. But I got it on tape. We'll find out later. We'll definitely post about what we find. Later. Yeah, we'll have a post or something. Yes, yeah, so there's a dam right up here, actually. So we're pretty close to the end. Um, yeah, we'll scan the other side and then, like, Still got the whole other halfway on this. Yeah, side. going back up. What time is it? We're wasting time on that one. What time is it? It's almost four. Four. So we can get this done. We can get this section done and then continue tomorrow. We'll have we'll have two more sections. It's to about to start raining, I think. Wait, is it this coming? Well, at five or six, it looks like I don't know. Yeah. Mm. I wonder if there's a way anybody could figure out what the, the VIN number of the car from Pennsylvania is. Yeah. That would... They have the tag number, but no VIN number. Because we got all but three letters. What are you saying? Why are you so quiet? Uh, I'm just letting them look at the sonar. Oh, okay. So we're coming up on the dam right up here. The damn damn. Finding cars everywhere. It's not the cars we want. What's the last six of the VIN we have? The last six of the VIN. Six three four seven eight one. Uh, I have the Hummingbird Apex 16. I believe this is the newest one, the Apex series that just came out not too long ago. I'm not seeing anything else over here. Can we just floor and we can make it to the other side? I mean, we fall. What's up with these lights? Like, purple uh, lights under the bridge. I don't know. Kind of neat. I don't know. It looks very interesting, though. I don't think I'm going to go under the bridge. I think I'm going to turn around at the Well, bridge. you can go. The buoys go. Just go. I know, but I'd have to turn around on this side because the buoys are over here. Well, they... Let's go under a little bit. Do you, I don't know. You're nuts. Just you're go nuts. into the shade. There's That's, nothing over there. You're gonna get me. You're gonna get me hurt. There might be a car. You never know. Yeah, there's gonna be a stranded boat here in a minute. <laughs> My luck is he'll die like right when we get to the end. I don't know how a car would get here. Some of those. Things. What's going on on the bridge? I think it just lights it up underneath for people driving by to look pretty. Like make it pretty. Look pretty. Yeah, exactly. At us. So around? seven feet here, Ooh, under, the under the tunnel, and it drops off a little ways down there. So we're turning around. Told you, there ain't nothing here but the devil. You don't know that? Yeah, we're three. Can you see everything? Oh, okay. Yeah, too shallow. But look, it's so dark and nice for people watching on the screen. Look at that old, is that a wall? That's a log. Dude, there's a Yeti cool. wait, is that a Yeti cooler? Uh, no, it's a cheap one. Yeah, yeti. Yetis are nice, man. What is that right there? You see that? Something. Like trash. It's probably trash, bro. It's too small, right? There's something right there, but it's too, too small, it looks like. on that 
whoever asked about the last six that VIN. Yeah, do you, did anybody get any information on that VIN? Man, we only we almost got 800 people in this. Awesome. On a Monday, aren't you guys supposed to be at work? <laughs> Probably are, and they're watching. Like, <laughs> they're at work. Where's Cat Toy Lady today? She's uh, at the RV. At the RV, playing with the kids, chilling. There's a lot of great parks around here, I must say. And I really like this river. I'd love to live on this river. It's not the worst. You can just dive and find a bunch of treasures anytime you need. I mean, I bet you there's, we spend a day or two just like right, right here, for instance. I bet you there's stuff laying everywhere. Oh, yeah. People walk up to the wall and throw it in. Right, just like Columbus with that Jake feller. <laughs> so, we're going to go back up. Yeah. On this other side here. Scan it all really good. Tire. Wow, I've been like, Ooh. what is happening? See that tire right there in the middle? Oh my gosh, my sonar is being weird. Is it? It's dropping into 40. You getting upset? Well, get that 40 feet, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting anything on this. You got it on. I'm at 60, but what is, why, why are you, you done something? Oh, I just, I just flipped it. Oh, you, I was zoomed in from your fingers. Yeah, I zoomed you. in. Man! <laughs> now I don't even know, because I was scanning 40 feet though. I was scanning, time. I didn't see anything. anything. Yeah, no. Man, I'd be nervous, like, crap! Ah. Well, might be a sign I need to end this live stream because it might end if people keep calling me. But here, I guess we'll end this because I wasn't planning on doing a long one. Um, okay, well, I, let's do I, this. I, let's do this. Well, I mean, we're missing three letters, but read that off to them. So here's the plate. What was that? That was a tree hitting my transducer. No transducer, are you okay? Something's sticking out of the water there. Man, you better watch out. You gotta hit the pillar. I don't know what's going on in life. <laughs> Let's go back over the car so I can show it on the live stream. Give people an idea what we just uh, what you do. Was there letters before? Is the two the first thing? Yes. Hey, look, hey, look, let me look. So it's two, yeah, it's two M two M E C M seven four, and we're missing three letters. That last one might be a Y. Are you sure it's only three? It looks like it might be four. Either way, they're not there. So it looks like something, 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 Y, six, three, four, seven, eight, one. So maybe you guys can help us figure that out. It's a Ford. Just bounce that thing right off. <laughs> but you got it on camera too, right? So we can figure it out later. Yeah, we'll figure out the letters later. We just don't know right now, but I mean, if somebody can find out that Pennsylvania missing person VIN number that car, that'd be, that'd be pretty big. That's the VIN. Let's go back over that car. Which is like right up here. What's happening? Man, you having issues over there? Yeah, it's like not working. I think it's just Garmin, man. You need to get a hummingbird. Who that? 
All right. It's working now? It's been working. It's just the, the handle looks like being on it. I might have to flip it around because the, all the strain is on the clipper. I got it. Yeah, I can see it's working. Yeah, I can see stuff. Why are you looking at me like that? Yeah, my hat is a little worn, Art, but I love this hat. I'll be getting my own uh, Adam Brown Adventures hat soon, though. Oh, will you? Eventually. I got some new uh, t-shirts and merch I got custom designed that are really amazing. I'm super excited to show you guys those. I got I got an artist, uh, an artist I really love her work to do a, a cool design, so stay tuned for that. I'll, I'll, I'll get a hat eventually. Someday. Somebody in the, on my videos are like, why are you wearing an AWP hat? I was like... No. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'll rip off the side and put my own patch. <laughs> All right. Let's... Beep. What was that beep? What beep? I heard a beep. You didn't hear anything. Her battery's about to die. Y'all are getting so sunburned. It's only the sun just came out. Yeah, it's been cloudy. It's been overcast, day. which probably means that storm's coming in, pushing those away, and it's about to rain here. Well, go over there, man. I want to get to see the car. I'm gonna. The seat fell off. Oh, actually, this side, there might be a car on this side. Okay, we'll maybe scan right here first. <laughs> I love Boston Nug around. He freak, Nug freaks out a lot. Remember when his wife put the fake skull in the river? Yeah. <laughs> that didn't scare me. I saw it, like the water was super clear. I saw it from a distance. I was like, yeah, they're messing with me. The snake one though, where she tied, she tied, a, she somehow snagged a fake snake on me. And uh, it was after I'd just seen that real snake underwater. And so uh, she, she's a very good actor. She freaked me out. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Oh, yeah. So right over there is where the car we just dove on. Oh, man, I had high hopes that it'd be what we were looking for. I was really, really excited. I got to stop doing that. It just seemed like, man, one car, not a place where you dump a car, I wouldn't think. I mean, it's a nice neighborhood. It's a college town right here, I think. All right, so... Let's look at the sonar. She'll be able to see it here in just a minute. I should just turn to the last second. Okay, you turned right where? Right where is that? Okay, well there it is. That's the shadow of it. It doesn't stand out like a car very easily, but it's the right size. And I mean, it... sometimes the shadow and the size you have to go by more so than the looks. So yeah, that's it. I mean, you can you can see the shadow, and then there's the down imaging, which might look a little bit funky, but it's weird. We went over it a lot of times, and we got a couple times you could tell it was a car. You see the roof on it. Yeah, I mean that's that's but that's what we're looking. That's at. what we're looking at. Yep. And it's on its wheels, right? Yeah, definitely just sitting there. All right. Well, we're gonna get back up and. Uh, I'm gonna end this live stream. Ooh. Ooh, I can't even see the screen anymore. The sun came out. So I'm gonna end this live stream. I, are you gonna go live later? Maybe, possibly. I guess it depends. Yeah, probably. 
I'd love to know. We, get to, we figure out this van. We run the van. Get get the get a cop to run the van. See what that car's about. Yeah. They might pull it out. I mean, it's it's, it's maybe yeah. This is rowing community right here. We don't get crew messed up. So we appreciate you guys tuning in on this Monday. We almost had a thousand people in here. It's um, cool. I can't really see my screen very well. But so once again, to recap, we're looking for John Hanby. Missing in 2015 in a black BMW, so that's what we're searching for. In Mishawaka, Indiana, we just found that car, so that's one cleared. Two sections of the river cleared so far because there's dams in each section, and we gotta get in and get out. So we're gonna continue the search today, maybe tomorrow. So stay tuned for lives. Make sure you subscribe to both of our channels. That's exploring with Nug. If you guys are not subscribed to him, yeah, subscribe. And one of us will go live hopefully later, maybe. If we yeah, have I'd any like to go live go live all the time yeah on this trip well, we're gonna try to go live as many times as we can on this trip it's our plan well we got something to talk about yeah <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching see you guys soon um if you have anything notes to send me email me at adam brown or send me a message on facebook or email me at adam brown vlogs v l o g s at gmail.com let's let me know all right i can't even see my phone screen anymore all right i'll see you guys